So welcome to part two. We'll do in the back, which is the majority of where the components are. Um, the only thing I'm missing is the volume wheel, L and R buttons, which we can always solder on later. They're through holes anyways. But we're going to do the majority of everything else. So once again, we put our stencil over. Make sure it's nice and tight as you pull down on it. You can see this chip here and this one has very fine pitch. So you want to make sure you get those real good. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically uh, dragging it along, but I'm also trying to pick some of it up so I can reuse it on the next set. I'm not going to worry about this since I'm not going to solder it on, and that's going to be by hand. So everything looks like it's covered pretty well. All we got to do is just lift this up. Everything looks pretty good. It's a little thick on some of this, but once it heats up, it's all going to separate. Because the, uh, the paste has a little bit of flux in it, so it helps everything break apart. And since this is low temp, this will melt and heat up pretty quick. So you can just heat the same area a few times if you need to, to clear up any uh, bridging. So I'm going to start laying out the parts. Very important, the orientation of these chips. There's a dot right here, for example which indicates pin 1 and on this chip pin 1 has the, uh, in the, the indentation right there as well these smaller ones are kind of a pain in the ass this one the silk screen was right there but you just gotta pretend this is the pin 1 so the chip that goes on there has a very tiny dot on top and this one is pin 1 is up here in the corner USB-C socket it has some holes on the bottom which should line up once you get it in it should be perfectly all set if not you gotta move it around a little bit don't be afraid to put a little force down then it lays nice and flat got one more button back here so we gotta set it up the same way we did on the, the top Super tiny part right here. And this one as well. So the orientation of the diode is up here. You see the line? So that's where it's got to be. This is another chip that has a fine uh, indentation. It's really hard to see. Gotta make sure you get some good light. So basically, pin one is this pin right there. So for anyone watching this, maybe in the future, this board is likely going to be changed a few things here and there. For example, um, it's missing a couple, some silk screen. Uh, looks like I overlooked some things, but this is a, uh, a work in progress. It should be pretty good to go for production.
this pin has this chip has very fine pitch so I might have to go over it with a hotter a few times or even a little bit of flux and a soldering iron tip to clean any bridging If you notice, some of these pads have like a little solder in between. It almost looks like they're bridging uh, solder paste. But once uh, there's enough heat applied, it'll separate. So there will be no bridging. So this, this chip, very fine pitch. You could, super small. The dot is really hard to see, but I have it. It's on this side here. Just double checking off camera that it's correct. So you just kind of got to get it more or less in the middle. I like to tap down a little bit. You might be wondering how do I know everything goes because I laid everything out on the side basically in the same orientation as on the board so it's just pick and place. So now I'm going to get my hot air going, give it a second until it warms up. But wherever you decide to start, it doesn't really matter. Oh, almost forgot something. You gotta take the circuit board off of the plastic part. Otherwise, we're gonna melt that thing. Start off on this corner just because there's a bunch of stuff there. You see things move all over the place, but eventually it all goes in, into where it needs to go. This tiny one I had a feeling might give us trouble, so I've just got to help it get to its location. This one over here. And any extra solders that was in underneath the paste, uh, sometimes it comes out the side. You'll see like a little solder ball. You can always just flick it off once it's uh, dried up. kind of hard to see on camera so when you do the back of the uh, USB-C um, you'll have a better view of it than showing on camera you just want to make sure you heat it up pretty well so there's no bridging and if there is like I said some flux and the iron clean it right up this is the one that very fine pitch If you heat it up enough, like right here I had a bunch of bridging on this side, I could see it's totally gone. So if you heat it up enough, 
it will clear itself out for the most most of the time. I can see some solder in between. Let's pull it right out. Now we go on to this bad boy. I'm trying to angle it so you can kind of see what's going on. pretty good hit this side you might have to touch some of these areas like these two pins and the other ones with the soldering iron but for the most part it's pretty much all set so taking a quick, a quick look from where I'm at everything looks pretty decent and I think we call it a day right there just got to solder the uh, LNR over here and that double check uh, there's no bridging on, on these right here and should be good to go. This thing's ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching.